Hello Internet, this is Case with RemodelBlog.net. I wanted to go over some air tools that we use on job sites quite frequently, and especially the ones that work very well for us. Uh, rather than going over all of these tools in one video, I thought I would break it up in three very short ones. The first one will be about framing tools, the second for about finish tools and some staplers, and the last one about air compressors and some miscellaneous tools such as an air chisel. All right, so first up here is the Senko nailer. It has an adjustable air exhaust that you can twist to whatever direction you want the air to go in. Um, in real use, I find it somewhat helpful. Uh, if I'm in a, in a, uh, in a tight space, in a, you know, in a crawl space or up in an attic, um, I just want to get the job done and I'm not likely to, with every shot, to adjust this uh, because you know sometimes my, I hold the gun like this, other times it goes like that, um, obviously so. I think it's a good feature to have, I just don't use it very much and generally I, I forget all about it until I fire the first shot and it blows up all kinds of dust in my face and then I go, oh good, you know, I ought to change that. Anyway, it also has a belt hook or something you can just hang it on top of a, a rafter on the job site. Um, there are other hooks available aftermarket that you can just you can hang it off your tool belt, which this is a, you know, it's a little large for that purpose. Um, what else? Yeah, so to load up the nails, essentially put this here in the back, push this, pull this back, and boom, you're ready to go. If you need to change nails, there's a little button right there, you can press it down on it, and then you can just pull them right out. Um, if you have thicker or heavy shank diameter nails like these here, it takes a little bit of work to get them in, uh, not doesn't run as smoothly. So I think that's probably about it for this guy. Um, the other feature, first of all, it has a depth adjustment, which I think is a, an absolutely a must-have, and you can also bounce fire with it, which I also think is something that you wouldn't want to go without. So that's it for the Senko Frame Pro 702 XP. All right, next up here is the Hitachi NR8382 three and a quarter inch strip nailer. Um, by the way, before I get into this, the Senko here shoots two to three and a half inch long nails. It weighs about nine pounds. This guy here is about 7.9, so this is a little lighter. So this Hitachi shoots two to three and a quarter inch nails. Uh, it does not have an adjustable exhaust. Hello. It does not have an adjustable exhaust. It is, it's, busy. it's fixed. Like I said earlier, um, I, this is fine by me. I'm not so worried about it. It also has a depth adjustment. Again, it's really a must-have. On shear ply or sheathing, um, engineers usually don't like you to don't like to see the uh, the membrane of the plywood broken. So I generally set this so that the nail head sticks out just a little bit, and I'll go back with a hammer and just with a few taps drive it home. Um, what else does this guy have? There's no hook like this one has. Again, those are available aftermarket. Um, it does need a few drops of oil like I mentioned earlier. Um, it's a sturdy gun. I'm very happy with it. Uh, boom, boom. And anything else to say about this? I don't think so. The slide works you know, as you might expect it to. It locks into place. You drop your nails in here. It has a little release there at the, at the back. And that takes care of that. Here's the uh, the hardware nailer, or it's also called a positive placement nailer. Uh, the range of nails it shoots is one and a half to two and a half inches. As I said before, it has really been um, a time saver. And um, the one thing I would be careful with is with the pressure. It is easy for this um, for the piston to put some big dents in the hardware itself and your straps. So, but of course that goes for the other guns as well. That pro using the proper pressure um, is important. And of course on this one you do not have a depth ad adjustment. Um, these are also available, I believe, with a longer magazine, because this is rather short, which I chose because it will fit in tight spaces, but of course you have to reload more often. Um, and what else? Again, there's no, no clip, uh, no belt hook on this one either. Um, it does have an adjustable exhaust, just like the Senko does. So that's it for this guy. Last but not least, the palm nailer. I would say everybody, even if you're not in construction, you need a palm nailer. And let's see here, I'll grab a couple of nails out of this guy. 
So the beauty of this is that for tight spaces you can't beat it. It's a bit hard to, to direct it exactly where you want it, but... Oh! Hey, how about hooking it up? I just discovered that we have an air leak here. As you can tell, this is a, a real life and, and real work situation and not just a, a studio setup where everything is perfect. So I'm gonna hook this up, I will show you how that works and then I will shut it down because the compressor is gonna just, just keep running. So here we go. So there you go, here's another one. Alright, so that was the uh, overview of some of these framing tools that we use. Next up, in the next video, we'll talk about some finished nailer, a brad nailer, and some staplers. See you there.